Today on Kids Dream Toys, we got Dora's Christmas Carol. Nickelodeon Dora the Explorer, a golden book. Come read with us. It was the night before Christmas. Dora was getting ready for her Noche Buena party. She and Boots had a lot to do. Dora's Noche Buena party was the best of the year. Everyone put on their nicest clothes. There are all kinds of tasty treats. Benny really liked the Los Caramelos. Swiper was excited about the party too, except for excited for his chance to swipe the star from the tree. Oh no, Dora said. If Swiper swipes on Christmas Eve, St. Nicholas will put him on the naughty list. He won't get any presents. Still, Swiper tried to swipe the star. Just then, St. Nicholas flew out of the sky and landed on Dora's party. He warned Swiper many times not to swipe. I'm afraid I'll have to put you on the naughty list, he told Swiper. St. Nicholas, is there anything we can do to get him off the naughty list? Dora asked. I really want to help him. He thought for a moment. If Swiper can learn the true meaning of Christmas, I'll change my mind. He, he gave Dora a card with a picture of a Christmas tree on it. Each time Swiper learns about the spirit of Christmas, a decoration will appear on the tree. He must get four ornaments and a star. To learn about the meaning of Christmas, Dora and Swiper had to travel through time. First, they needed to visit the past when they were babies. They had to go to the future where they would be big kids. They said a grumpy old troll could help them with his magic. After that, St. Nicholas waved goodbye and his sled soared off into the sky. Dora and Swiper ran to the grumpy old troll's bridge. The grumpy old troll gave them a magical time capes. To make the capes work, you'll have to shake, 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 the troll explained. Dora and Swiper put the capes on and started to shake them. Magical sparkles swirled around Dora and Swiper as they flew high into the air. When they landed, Dora and Swiper were still at the bridge, but grumpy old troll was now a little troll. They made it to the past. As Dora and Swiper journeyed through Christmas forest, they met a puppy with a bone. Swiper went to swipe it. Then he remembered what Santa said about not swiping the bone. Suddenly, an ornament appeared on his card. I must be learning the meaning of Christmas, Swiper said. Then he and Dora continued further into the forest. Aww. Just then, baby Swiper sneaked out of his crib and swiped other babies' Christmas toys. All the babies start crying. Nobody should cry on Christmas, Swiper said as he returned to the Christmas toys to the babies. But as he did, Baby Swiper swiped his cape. Baby Swiper, no swiping. As Swiper took his cape back, another ornament appeared on his card. You have two ornaments now, Dora said. Come on, let's keep going so you can learn the true meaning of Christmas. Dora and Swiper shook out their capes and traveled through time. When Dora and Swiper landed, they saw themselves, but they weren't babies anymore. They were little kids. They were playing with their Christmas gifts. I remember when Mommy and Daddy gave me a rocking horse, Dora said. I love that bunny, said Swiper. The rest of Dora's friends were little kids, too. They all really liked their Christmas gifts and were so grateful and thankful for all the hard work their parents did. Even though Little Swiper had his own toy, he started swiping everyone else's gifts. This is terrible, exclaimed Swiper. I'm going to help get their gifts back. Swiper searched everywhere. He looked under rocks and behind bushes. Soon Swiper found all the missing toys Little Swiper had swiped and returned them to everyone. Aww. Look, Dora, cried Swiper. My card has three ornaments on it. Now I only need to find one more star. We need to go into the future and we'll be big kids, said Dora. Come on, let's get you off the naughty list. Vamanos. Dora, are we in the future now? asked Swiper as they looked into their magical journey. I think so, said Dora. Look, there I am, but a big kid. Dora and Swiper introduced themselves to Big Kid Dora. Big Kid Dora was sad. Over the years, Swiper had swiped all the presents, and there were no more Christmas parties. But Swiper promised not to swipe on Christmas anymore. 
Yes, said Swiper. I'm learning about the true meaning of Christmas is giving to others. That's fantastic, said Big Kid Dora. If you learn the true meaning of Christmas, maybe you'll stop swiping and we can have our Christmas parties again. Just then, older Swiper jumped out behind a bush. He wanted to swipe Swiper's time travel cape. Everyone said, Swiper, no swiping! But old Swiper wouldn't listen. He even put... He was even put on the naughty list. No one could stop him from swiping. Older Swiper ran away with the cape. Without the cape, Swiper couldn't travel through time. Now I'll never get off the list, he moaned. We'll have to get your cape back, Dora said. And I know some amigos who can help. Aww. There was Isa, Benny, Tico, Boots. They were all big kids. We'll help you learn the true meaning of Christmas, Swiper. Swiper was very happy his friends were so kind. How will we find old Swiper, Boots asked. Let's ask Map, said Dora. Map and older Map <laughs> said that to find older Swiper, they had to follow the wrapping paper trail to the castle. Dora and her friends quickly found the wrapping paper trail. It was littered with torn wrapping paper. When Old Swiper opens his gifts, he just throws the paper on the ground. Aww. Swiper didn't want to be a litter bug, so his friends followed him to the trail and they picked up the paper. When they reached Old Swiper's castle, the entire trail was clean. The friends entered the castle and found Older Swiper. He was sleeping in a room filled with Christmas gifts he swiped. I look so lonely, Swiper said. I have lots of gifts, but I'm not very happy. Then the friends searched for the cape. They found all their missing Christmas gifts from over the years. Swiper even found a stuffed bunny he loved when he was little. Everyone was happy that Swiper returned their gifts to them. At last, Swiper found his cape and received the fourth ornament on his card. But he knew he couldn't have done it without help of his friends. Before he left home, Swiper looked at the older Swiper. He knew he didn't want to be lonely in the future like the old Swiper. Having friends was so much better than swiping things. So with a shake of their capes, Dora and Swiper flew back in time. Dora and Swiper returned to the Noche Buena party. Before the party started, Swiper gave Dora a gift. It was his stuffed bunny. That was my favorite toy as a child, Swiper said. I want to give it to you because you're such a good friend. Dora gave Swiper a big hug. Finally, Swiper understood that it's better to share than to take. You should always let your friends know you care, he said. Suddenly, the golden star appeared on the list. Bells jingled in the distance. Everyone was happy. Swiper had learned the true lesson. I'll take you off the bad list. It was a wonderful Noche Buena party and a very Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Everyone cheered. Thanks for helping. Gracias.